yourself is to believe in the unlimited power that created you and surrender yourself completely into the arms of eternal love. There are times in life when things don't go our way, times when we meet with failure and defeat, and when that happens, we inevitably start to doubt ourselves. We start to doubt our worth and our ability to make our dreams come true, and we wonder whether we will feel safe and secure ever again. How to believe in yourself again. Number one, to believe in yourself again, make peace with where you are. To get out of this dark place, back to feeling safe, happy and secure, and back to believing in yourself again, you need to make peace with where you are right at this very moment. There's no need to fight against what is. Resistance is futile. Look within and find the inner strength, wisdom, courage and confidence to make peace with how your life looks at this moment and everything that led to this situation. In doing so, you will learn to work with life and no longer against it. Number two, when you are given more than you can handle, surrender. Quote, Surrender is a constant process of not resisting or clinging to the moment, but instead continuously turning it over to God. The attention is thus focused on the process of letting go and not on the content of the what that is being surrendered. Unquote. David Hawkins Even though at times it feels as though life is against us, in truth, life loves us a great deal and he wants to hold our hand through the many dark and painful moments in life. He wants to guide us, to nurture us, and take all of our burdens away from us. So when you feel that you are given more than you can handle, give your pains, struggles, fears, and all your worries away to God and life itself, to prayer, meditation, and through the simple act of humility and surrender. Number three, trust yourself. Quote, everything in the universe is within you. Ask all from yourself. Unquote. Rumi. You are not alone on this journey you are now on. You never were and never will be. And if you dare to release all that is false and erroneous by taking your attention from what is out there and placing it on what is within your own self, you will soon discover that you are a lot more powerful than you thought you were. Trust yourself a little more. Trust that you are not alone. And trust that the same power that created you is with you, within you, and all around you, guiding you, loving you, and keeping you safe through it all. Number four. To believe in yourself again, put the past behind you. The past is the past and should be left there. And you know why? Because that's just old energy. Let it all go. Let go of what happened in the past. Any guilt, shame, blame, and resentments you might be holding on to. And allow yourself to move forward in life without the heavy burden of your past on your shoulders. Number five. To believe in yourself again, learn to forgive yourself. Fill your heart with love. Forgive, release, and let go. Forgive yourself for the many so-called failures and mistakes of the past and allow yourself to be free. You have done the best you could with what you knew at that moment. And now that you know better, you can choose to do better. Number six, stand guard at the gate of your mind. Quote, Your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own thoughts unguarded. But once mastered, no one can help you as much, not even your father or your mother. Unquote. Buddha. Thoughts have power, creative power. And if you let your mind wander wherever it pleases, it will continue to trick you into thinking that who you are is never enough. Good enough, smart enough, beautiful enough, worthy enough, and so on and it will continue to damage you 
and the quality of your life. Don't believe everything you think. Stand guard at the gate of your mind and be very careful with the thoughts you think and the words you speak. Discipline your mind to think only thoughts that are positive, uplifting and empowering and choose to ignore all those thoughts that are meant to hurt and harm you. Number seven, put the comparisons aside. Quote, when you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. Unquote. Lao Tzu. Never allow your mind to trick you into thinking that it's okay to compare yourself and your life with the lives of those around you. You are a unique individual with a unique path to walk in life. And the work you are meant to do in this world is yours and yours alone. Nobody can take it away from you. And nobody can do it better than you yourself can. Put the comparisons aside and focus on what you're born to do. Walk the path you are meant to walk on at the speed you are meant to walk and forget about what others are doing. Number eight, create your life from the present moment. In each moment you are born again, free from the many mistakes of the past and free from the heavy burden of what used to be. And when you choose to create your life from the present moment, you are in fact choosing to create your life from a place of infinite choices and possibilities and no longer from a place of fear and limitations. Number nine, to believe in yourself again, learn to be a wise student. Quote, it has been a long trip, said Milo climbing onto the couch where the princesses sat. We would have been here much sooner If I hadn't made so many mistakes, I'm afraid it's all my fault. You must never feel bad about making mistakes, explained Reason quietly, as long as you take the trouble to learn from them. For you often learn more by being wrong for the right reasons than you do by being right for the wrong reasons. Unquote. Norton Jaster. Be a wise student. Seek to learn from every experience and every interaction life sends your way, no matter if good or bad, and allow life's many challenges, difficulties, failures, and mistakes to make you better, not bitter. Number 10. Seek to develop the precious gift of thankfulness. What a sweet thing thankfulness is. It fills our hearts with love and our minds with peace, taking us from a state of lack, fear, rigidity and anxiety to a state of flow, love, abundance and surrender. When you are in a state of gratitude, you begin to acknowledge that nothing in this life happens to you, but rather for you, and that every experience life sends your way is meant to shape you, to mold you, and free you from the prison of your fearful ignorance, pain and darkness. To be thankful is to be in a state of knowingness, knowingness that everything you need is already present in your life, and a knowingness that everything you dream of having will be given on to you. Seek to develop this precious gift and allow thankfulness to transform you and your whole life. Number 11. To believe in yourself again, never stop moving. Quote, If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Unquote. Martin Luther King Jr. There will be moments of intense pain and fear. Moments when darkness will feel so dense and without an end that you want to go back and give up. And even though your mind and all your senses will insist on you giving up, it is imperative that you don't. Rest if you need to, and as often as you have to, but never give up. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on what you know in your heart to be true, and never give up on your life. Keep on moving no matter how slow, because eventually you will reach the light at the end of the tunnel, and when you do, you will realize that it was all worth it. Number 12. To believe in yourself again, let life guide you. Your life has a natural flow that it's meant to follow. Learn to relax into it. 
let go of this insane need to control the course of your entire life and let life guide you. Learn to move with the flow of life and no longer against it. Relax and let go. Let go of your many expectations about how things should be and about how your whole life should unfold and allow life to surprise you. Allow life to guide you, not in the direction you think you should go, but in the direction you are meant to go. And in doing so, not only will you learn to believe in yourself again, but you will also find the peace, safety, rest and security you have been longing for for so long. And these are the 12 steps that are meant to teach you how to believe in yourself again. I hope they will inspire and empower you to take action and apply what you already know deep within your own being so that you can live your life from a place of joy, faith and courage and no longer from a place of fear, pain, darkness and insecurity. Thank you for watching. If this video spoke to you, feel free to like, subscribe and leave your sweet comment in the comment section down below.